Okay, so we continue with the with the model of our dinosaur here. Uh, so last time where we left off was we had the the basic silhouette of the, of the dinosaur by following the image that we were using. So now we probably want to develop the the head. Probably want to do some slight shaping here before we we go ahead and get started in creating the head area. So I'm going to do is select let me select the whole object first. And we're going to subdivide this. We're going to mesh smooth options box. Just make sure that you have the options set the same way I have here. Especially make sure that the options where it says here preserve seam are not checked and apply that. So now we have more geometry that we can use to shape our model. So let's select these faces. So we're going to edit mesh, extrude, pressing W, and before we do anything, I'm going to double click here and disable reflection for now. Just move that forward. Okay. Maybe slightly down. Let's go to our side view here so that we match the image. So now I'm going to select the inner face and enable reflection once again and delete. Okay, I'm going to select these faces and I'm actually going to grow the selection. Just so that we can match the reference image better. I'm going to rotate this. Just to get it to match as close as possible. I mean it doesn't have to be perfect but uh, as long as you're happy with the results you should be good. Now let's insert an edge loop. Let's go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop. Let's do some slight shaping. Now we're going to select these faces. Make sure you have those faces selected so that we can get the mouth. So we're going to edit mesh and you guessed it, extrude. Let's scale that, scale that in. G to extrude one more time. And I'm going to use the blue handle to bring that in. Now we're going to delete and we're going to select these faces and delete those as well. Now if you notice we have a gap here in some of our edges here. So we're going to select those edges. Now this might be a little difficult to see but uh, select those edges. And we're going to, we have to snap those back into place. So we go here, up here, and we type zero in the X. And you see that it snaps that into place. So we're going to do the same with this, with the bottom part. Type zero in the X. 
and that snaps back to the zero of the x. So we have the basic mouth. So let's do some slight shaping as we go along. Now I'm trying to do this as slow as possible. Try to do this really slowly. So if you're an advanced user, this might be slightly boring. So let's check our pictures. It's good to it's a good idea to keep going back to our pictures, especially the face. Keep going back to the picture, especially that the head image. I have different close ups here. Again, you can download those images from my website, or you can just Google. continue to shape now this is a this is a slow process but we have to be patient and shortly but surely we're going to get to where we want to so you can see that I keep going back to those images let me insert an edge loop edit mesh insert edge loop And continue to develop the, the shape that we want. I just want to make sure to show every single step that I do. So we probably want to get the inside of the mouth. So the way of doing that, we're going to select these edges here. Make sure you have those edges selected. So we're going to edit mesh and extrude. We're going to press W to move. And I'm going back to that zero here so that it is snaps to to the axis of course we want to close the, the hole that we got here first we're going to insert edge loops here so we're going to edit mesh insert edge loop probably one here maybe one there So what I'm going to do now is we're going to use the Merge Vertex tool. So if you go to Edit Mesh, Merge Vertex tool. So click and hold down one of the vertices and drag it to the one that you want to snap it to. It's really difficult to see in the subdivision mode. So you might want to press one to go to to a lower division so I'm pressing 1 so I can go back to my regular again I'm using the merge vertex tool so click and hold that vertex and drag it now here I see that we probably need another edge loop So what I'm going to do is go to the edit mesh and insert edge loop and insert one there. Now let's go back to the merge vertex tool. Select that vertex. Whoops. Make sure you select the one that you want to merge. Okay. 
So if we press three, that's that's looking fine there. That's the way we want it. So we'll, let's go ahead and do the same with the. Let's repeat the process with the top. Again, press one. Sometimes you see that some edges are selected, and let me select them and deselect them. Okay, so let's we're gonna use the merge vertex tool once again. So if you go to edit mesh, merge vertex tool, click and hold, and drag. Okay, let me go back to my three subdivision mode. So that's looking fine there. So now probably we want to continue to shape. So I really want to show my shaping process here. We really want to get the, to the shape that we want. Let's keep looking back at going back to our pictures just so that we can follow more precisely keep going back to those pictures I'm going to press B for soft selection. So hold down B and hold down B and hold down the left mouse and drag to to change the radius. Now soft selection allows for selecting one edge and it moves the other edges that are close to that one so that we can move more than one edge at a time it can be really useful so really all I'm doing is some, some more shaping here no this is a slow process but we're going to get there eventually. Trying to do this as slow as possible so that you can see. Of course, once again, there's not one way of doing things. So let's do more shaping. We continue to shape this is a slow process but again we need to have some patience when it comes to making models So we continue to shape. 
course of course this is all up to you if you want to be really faithful to the image and follow it to the T or maybe go a slightly more stylized now in this case I'm following the image but at the same time I'm not feeling that I'm bound to it so it's all up to you so really this is some some just moving things around to to get to that shape that we want and that's basically what what this is especially at this stage what we're going to do is continue to shape So we continue to shape the rest of the body as well. Now we have more geometry to work with, so we can continue to shape accordingly to the image. So all we're doing is moving edges. Now you probably noticed that I'm mainly using edges to move around, but of course you can use vertices uh, and faces. So I think we're going to stop here for now, and on the next tutorial we're going to continue to develop the shape and probably get the eyes, probably get the eyes done, and continue to shape, especially the head and the the body of the dinosaur. Okay.